a low so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair huh median the problem with this one pressing the power button and it's working we have picture we fixed it yeah we can uh, we can uh, stop the recording now no it's not working let's check the customer email customer it's a computer business Hi Sorin, uh, something different for you this time. We got a Median AMD Ryzen 5. The DC charging port on the laptop has stopped working, but it's still taking on charge through the USB-C port. Might just need the tracks repair, but I'll leave it on your expert hands. Expert, I think he's uh, he sent the laptop to the wrong person. I'm no expert. Instead of candies, those are people that only send me candies. And I told him, you know, don't send me candies because I'm fat. Uh, this time, I hope you'll enjoy the donor board for spares on any future repairs. Thanks, your five, your favorite computer business. And we have a spare board. You remember people are sorry, but from where do you have the spare board? I mean, I'm not only these people, but a lot, a lot of uh, computer shops, they are sending me uh, boards for spares. Yeah, check here. We have a nice Novoton uh, EC chip. A bunch of MOSFETs, good for spares. But before we are starting, let's speak about today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop solution based on the fact that all kinds of PCBs, 3D printing, CNC, she metal, are available from them. Every new register, they are getting $5 welcome bonus which is about 10 PCBs. So you will get 10 PCBs for free. All you have to do is to pay for the postage. Now I did check myself the PCB quality. We can clearly see here we are speaking about uh, a top-notch uh, PCB manufacturer. Now don't forget you can uh, check the link on the description and uh, you can place your first order. Now let's go back to our uh, repair. So the laptop is working but it's not working on the on the on the ramping charger. Let me grab a adapter. Can be a charging port problem? Yeah, can be. Can be a charging port problem. Like, like they said, can be like a, a track issue or the port itself. Yeah, that's the that's the adapter. So we need the power supply. We have 19, plug in the charger and it's doing exactly nothing, you can see. Pressing the power button. Yeah, the laptop is coming on, but it's taking no power at all. I will say, let's quickly open the laptop and uh, see what is the problem. That's nice, you can, you can have access to the M2 drive. The laptop, it's open. Actually, it is the M2 drive here, but has a slot here also. Wow, this is a small motherboard. Check here. We have the RAM memory here, CPU. And we are looking to a charging port issue. Let's go under the microscope and check together. So the charging port, looking good. Oh, moving the port, I can't see, oh, yeah, check here, so if I hold the charging port, it is charging, you can see, this is the pre-charge current, mm. it's not going to the full current, Two hundred milliamps, and it's going to zero. So what pin is broken on this charging port? Do you think the middle pin? Because these pins are solder, you can see them? Yeah. Middle pin can be a problem. Let me grab the solder iron. Let's see a little bit of solder on the middle pin. And yeah, that did the trick, right? Yeah, and now it's working fine. So if I move the port, it's still going to zero. 
No, these are the different issue. I will say, just give me a few minutes to take the motherboard out and let's have a look at the charging port on the other side. And the motherboard, it's out. Let's check together the charging port. Yeah, okay, that's making sense. So you can spot the problem. So actually the middle pin is no solder on the track. You can see here. Oh, lol, this pin is moving all around. This is melted. Check here. So this pin is not broken. Yeah, it's going inside. Yeah, it got melted because there's no solder here. Yeah, that's, that's the issue. That's the problem. Yeah, a lot of hair. Let's clean it a little bit. Perfectly clean. And all we have to do, we have to solder this pin there. Check there. You can see how it's moving. Yeah. Good. So we need a little bit of rosin. Rosin there. And we have to solder the port. Yeah, we have to heat up the port first. We have two test points. So check here. You can check the voltage on the board using the test points. Now the pin it is soldered here on the back, but I want it soldered here on the front. We have to be sure the solder bonded all around the pin. So the pin, it is soldered properly on place. Now it's one more problem. Because the pin got melted there, it is possible that middle pin to move around. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean it first. Good. And I'm gonna use my uh, my UV gel. This is a new UV gel. Someone recommend this UV gel. And actually, it's over whatever I seen before. It's a transparent uh, UV gel. You you can find it on uh, on my eBay or United States eBay, I believe. But this is perfect for this kind of repairs. So all we have to do it's about to squeeze some UV gel here. Be sure it's going under. Perfect. And also we can use it a little bit here around the port. Perfect. Now I'm going to use the UV light. The UV light, it's on just uh, probably like a few minutes. No, a few minutes, probably like one minute will be ready. You can see it's already. Uh, yeah, already it's uh, hardened. So it should be ready. No, check here, check here. Proper solid, yeah. So now we are sure this port, uh, this port is not moving. Yeah, proper solid. Now let's test it. Let's plug the charger. Plug in the charger. And it's doing nothing. But we do have the orange light flashing because we don't have the battery. Yeah, that's the reason. But moving the port. Check here. You can move the port any direction. Uh, it will still flash the light. Let's bring the laptop back. Just give me like one minute. Let's test it before we are putting the screws. Battery is plugged in. Let's plug the charger. Charger is plugged in. 
we have 160 milliamps. Let's see if the, the current is rising. That's more important. No, it's switching to zero. One point three amps. Check there. One point three amps. Moving the port, yeah, in all direction. The current is stable. You can see it's not moving at all. Yeah. Well done. What do you think, huh? I mean, this uh, this was quite a easy one. Easy pizza. Not that easy, we have to take the board out, so I did spend a little bit of time, 35 minutes on my OBS, but still a decent job. All we had to do like a solder and make sure it's solid. All screws are back in place. No, here was no screw, I mean, you can see the fun thingy, but you cannot uh, put the screw there. And the plastic cover, let's test it. Pressing the power button, and the laptop is taking like 2 amps. And we have picture, and it's loading the windows. Everything is fine. I did check the heatsink, it's not dust there. So we can put the back cover, and yeah, the job is done. All good, working fine, charging fine. Unplugging the charger, and the battery T is holding the charge. I mean, it was holding the charging one before. It was not charging on this port. You remember the USB-C, it was working. Yeah, 1.3 amps. Cool. I'm uh, happy I held them. If you ask me, those jobs are very rare on these days. Like to have a round port, charging port, and you have to solder and you fix the laptop. I mean, you're not going to find many laptops with round charging port. So it's always a pleasure to work uh, repairing this kind of port. Now, one more thing, yeah, because I fixed a lot of these kind of ports. You'll find, actually, the middle pin being broken. You'll find if you have round, uh, round charging ports. If you, if you find, like, the, the middle pin to be broken, you can use like um, a component pin you can see like a capacitor like a big capacitor pin or like a connector pin so you can rebuild the middle pin then you can shape it and solder on the board i'm just saying okay i will say thank you for watching you know like subscribe if you like the video like always and see you on the next one bye